Trump's visit to Mexico City took place just hours before he was due to deliver a highly anticipated speech in the border state of Arizona on how he would tackle illegal immigration if he wins the November 8 election. True to Trump's flair for the dramatic, the trip south of the border guaranteed news coverage for the New York businessman and former reality TV star. But it also took him to a country where he is widely disliked because of his harsh comments that he has made during his White House campaign. The meeting, which Trump and his advisers began considering after an invitation from Pena Nieto last week, is Trump's first official interaction with a foreign leader since he began his presidential campaign more than a year ago, stirring up frequent controversy both at home and abroad. A source close to the Trump campaign said he expects the candidate might apologize in Mexico for some of his rhetoric, but says that illegal immigration has to stop. The Trump campaign has held talks in recent months about a possible meeting with the governor of the Mexican border state of Sonora, but that encounter has not taken place, the source said. Trump trails Democratic rival Hillary Clinton in most opinion polls nationally and in most battleground states with 10 weeks to go until the election. Getting countries working together was my job every day as your Secretary of State. It's more than a photo op. It takes consistency and reliability. Actually, it's just like building personal relationships. People have to get to know that they can count on you that you won't say one thing one day and something totally different the next. And it certainly takes more than trying to make up for a year of insults and insinuations by dropping in on our neighbors for a few hours and then flying home again. That is not how it works.